get more rations. That is the answer to everything. So this is, uh, that's how they keep their food. It talks. Oh, jeez. Where are we going? We're going over here. Wait. You're an Ave guy. So hungry. Is the meal ready yet? Whatever you do, all it all goes back to food. You got that food! Right. Is it the same with you guys? You eat to live or live to eat? We don't even know, do we? I bet those Solarians are always eating all the good stuff. That's unforgivable! Do you have bacon? Do you have bacon? What? What's up, dude? We're still running around in the sky because of the war that broke out 500 years ago. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yes, you must suffer like your ancestors did. No, I am tired of canned food. What is up, Blonde? Oh, Yui. Hey, what is up? The meal. Do you guys remember Yui? I bet you don't. That is Satan's wife. Why are you here, Yui? Didn't I tell you before? I was born here. After you left the village, I decided to return to Shabbat along with the survivors of the village. Because the soldiers from Ave and Kislev were showing up around there. I see. I'm sorry for putting so much trouble on you. What are you saying? It's not your fault. There's nothing to worry about. The people from the village understood after they came here and heard the story. Except for Balding Oompa Loompa. Dan! That was his name, Dan. He still hates you. Excuse me, but who's this lady? Oh, you've never met her before. This is Doc's wife, Yui. The wife of Stan? He got laid? You are Bart, the orca of the desert, right? Ha! <laughs> Shamu. You've been quite busy. It's nice to meet you. Yes. How how do you do? You met the queen. Yeah, I did. Right. Of course. Okay. Then I'll see you later, Yui. Midori really talks a lot. It's amazing how much stuff you can have to talk about. We can have a conversation without talking. Have you forgotten already? What? What's up, Midori? No! <laughs> no! She's been brainwashed! Get out of here! The choo choo's in her mind! Didn't I steal her ring? Like, ages ago? She doesn't want that back? Whatever, I'll keep it then. What's up? You just arrived from the surface! I've heard about you! Yes, we did save her. Wish they'd give me a mission. I'd teach the Solarians a lesson. Nope. No, you wouldn't. You suck. I feel like I've met you before. You resemble Khan. The one who taught us the art of fighting. Nobody knows his whereabouts after he went down to the surface on the Queen's mission. I doubt something bad happened to him, considering his skills, but I wonder where he is. Is that it? I think that's all the places that I've that it can go. That can't be it. No. Whoa. No, it, it just keeps going. This is a huge-ass room. Krillian is in charge of Solaris? Okay. That man fought alongside Roni, Fatima, Queen Zephyr, and Lakehan. There's a new name, Lakehan. Shavat from the outside, the ancient technology of the gate is used. They used the gate spell. They planted the same thing on the surface. The gate cannot be broken through. Awesome. To isolate us, to li isolate us from the rest of the world. If that was his intention, then Krellian is indeed dreadful. Does that man's resentment run that deep? What? are you talking about? Okay. There's three doors over here. Got a lot more to do here in, in the palace. Long ago, humans were with God in a paradise in the sky called Mahanon. The place was protected by the power of God.
God. Humans are never exposed to the fear of danger, the fear or danger of death. However, one day humans entered God's forbidden garden and ate a fruit which bestowed upon them tremendous intelligence and power. God found out about the incident and the humans were banished from the paradise. Their prosperous times were over an era of sorrow and hatred began. That was the first part of the legend of Genesis that was passed on from long ago. They say a legend such as this contains some truth to it. Did he just give me the Eden story and call it Mahanon? Whatever. Humans banished from the paradise were foolish enough to revolt against God. In order to resist the power of God, they created 12 anima relics and called themselves gods. For 10 days, 10 nights, the world shed its blood. Mahanon was enveloped in flames. But human strength was no match for God, and the arrogant humans were destroyed by God's anger. Only a few righteous men were left on the land. However, God was also tired and wounded. He decided to rest in the deepest depths of the earth. God's rest was long, but eternity is only a moment to God. Since then, the righteous men didn't revolt against God, had to live in the harsh nature by themselves, being in constant fear of death. The legend also says the following, when the righteous men's children are born again, God will awaken from his long rest and give a helping hand to them. If the legend is true, what will the awakening God bring to the people? What kind of existence is God? What the hell are you talking about? It is not known how much of the Genesis legend is true. However, the animal relics made through God's wisdom do exist. Solaris' gazelle ministry is desperate to find the animal relic in Mahanan, a place known to be God's resting place. If Solaris attains that power, no one will be able to stop them. What will happen to the world then? I don't know. Just found out about your damn story. Apparently, they have a Bible, and that's how they know there's 12 animal relics. 12. It's kind of an important number, actually, isn't it? Whatever. We'll, g we'll go over that probably in a different game. Balthazar brought Maria to Shavad about five years ago, along with that Saibzen. Balthazar said he sneaked in Solaris by himself and tried to save Dr. Nicola and Maria. He laughed as he told me what he managed to escape with Maria. That side zen as a souvenir. Maria's father, Dr. Nikolai, was captured by Solaris, and nothing has been heard from him since. In any case, I'm sure he's being forced to do research on gears. If they develop Saibzan further into a new gear weapon and start mass producing them, well, to say the least, it would be more than we could ever handle. Because you guys are relying on a 13 year old who's actually 10 to defend your country. That's not necessarily a good thing. What's up, lady? You're the son of Khan. Have you met Queen Zepha yet? She still can't forget about the tragedy in Nissan during the Great War 500 years ago, even though it's not her fault. I assume she can't forgive herself for betraying and abandoning her fellow members, though she had no knowledge of what was going on. Oh, I may have said too much. I'm not supposed to know anything. Anyhow, keep the keep up the good work in overthrowing Solaris, young man. <laughs> no, don't listen to anything that I say. I'm just a crazy old person. I didn't. I, I couldn't tell male or female. What what is up here? Yes, we are the newcomers. No, we are not like them. Of course, yes. You need. Oh, I look forward to working with you too, baby. Those are girls, right? I can't tell. It's a Japanese game. Welcome to Shabbat. We've already heard that you are a guest. Please use this room as you please. You're welcome to use the bed to rest. Okay. Oh, so apparently I was just supposed to go over here. And this is where they want me to rest. Oh, save point. I don't require it immediately. How, there we go. Want to rest in the bed? Sure. Hey, Bart, Billy, you guys use the other beds. Thank you. 
Don't be pulling a satan up in here. Like creeping up on me in the middle of the night. Ugh. Or Rico. He's a crier. What do you want me to do? Ugh. Uh, I used to do this in prison all the time. Yeah, shut up, dude. Nobody cares about your toilet wine. Okay, so I think after this, we need to go back and talk to Queen Zephyr. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and be like, hey, I made up my mind. I'm going to help you. Wait, does wise man say anything? Who the hell is this wise man? Why do I get the feeling that you're wearing a mask? Go, Shavat. Yes, of course. That's the same thing he said before, so thanks for all that new information, wise man. I'm glad I came back to talk to you. Oh, yes. Queen Zephyr must get her epic entrance again. No organ music this time. I just walked right up to her still. Have you decided? My heart is set. All right. What the hell was that? That was a load-bearing saying. Your Majesty. Was that enemy? Your Majesty, something dreadful has. What's the meaning of this? Yes, that is, we have an intruder in the dock area. The gate generator has been destroyed. What? What's the damage report? 70%? That's a lot of percent! We're devoting everything to firefighting and repairs. It will still take some time. Of the intruder. We believe it's just a lone gubbler soldier. Seems the individual has escaped to the number 17 hangar. Not number 17! Saibzen! Maria, wait! It's too dangerous to go by yourself. But we can't just let the spot be. We have our hands full just trying to fight the fire on the shield generator. If someone doesn't do something that's possible, we'll have more losses. I'll be fine. I can do it alone. What can you do now when you don't even have Saibzen? I already know the answer to that, but, you know, whatever. We'll do it! Should we go down with Maria? It's the Gabler, right? I'm still ticked off at them. I'll take them on. Is, fine. Is it fine with you, Vey? Please take care of Maria and be careful out there. Yeah, we'll all help you. We can have a party of four. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get going, Maria. Yes, let's do this. Let's all go together. Yes, all four of us. Damn you. No, I wanted four. Now you're gonna make me get rid of one. We do not have the combat experience, and if something ever happened to the queen, it will be fine. One of us should stay behind.